is Murray. She's supposed to be here now. Hi, James. So sorry for being late. There was such a big traffic. Oh, it's okay, Murray. I understand. There is so much traffic right now. But right now, I'm really hungry. Let's go. Yes, me too. I didn't eat anything since morning. Let's go. Why did you stop walking, Murray? I just realized that I forgot my purse at home. Oh, that's it? Well, I have my credit card with me. How about we go to the nearest ATM and we will withdraw some money? That sounds a great plan. Let's go. Oh, look, that is an ATM. It is so fascinating how ATMs work. I know, right? By the way, I actually know a lot about ATM machines. Do you want to know the story about the ATM machines? Like, I can tell you the origin and why it was invented and when was it invented and how the money comes out from an ATM machine. That sounds like so much fun. I would love to know about the ATM machines, but I'm so hungry I wouldn't be able to concentrate. Well, I saw a cafe nearby. How about we walk till that cafe and I will tell you the story. Okie dokie. So, let me tell you the story about ATMs. While taking a bath, inventor John Shepard Barron devised what is hailed as the world's first automatic teller machine. Although his claim to the title is a matter of dispute, he pitched the device to the British bank Barclays. It accepted immediately and the first model was built and installed wow, in London Marie, in 1967. In 1967? I thought it was invented in something like 2000s. When I learned about it too, I was shocked. Well, the story about the ATMs don't actually stop there. In September 1969, the decades that followed the introduction of the ATM transformed this new form of banking. In the US, Dallas-based engineer Donald Wetzel pioneered the development and deployment of the ATM, with the first being installed at the Chemical Bank branch in Rockwell Center, New York in September 1969. Well, that's not all fine, but how do ATMs work? That was the most confusing part. Okay, I will tell you how the ATMs work. How do ATMs work? When you need money from an ATM machine, you insert your credit or debit card into the ATM and enter a PIN number assigned to you by your bank via the keypad. After approval of the personal identification number, the PIN and card combination prompts on the screen gives you actions to select such as withdraw cash, balance inquiry or transfer. You select withdraw cash and select the amount using the keypad and screen. Upon your bank's approval, money is dispensed from the ATM machine with an associated receipt. Wow, Marie! You know so much about ATM machines, but that was not my question. My question was, what happens in the ATM and beyond to make this happen? Hmm, so you want to learn about what happens be behind the ATMs and how the cash comes? Yes, that's what I want to know. In short, an ATM machine is a computer with a mechanical dispenser for cash that is connected to an ATM transaction processor through the internet or phone line. The ATM transaction processor is able to connect to the ATM networks and through these networks to your bank. Wow! Well, in order to understand how an ATM machine works, it is important to understand the different parts that make up the ATM machines. The major parts of an ATM include main board. This part controls the processing of the ATM. This houses the CPU, memory and provides connection to all other ATM parts. 
Second, the card reader. This part reads account information that is stored on an EMV chip or a magnetic strip. Most card readers and cards today are EMV enabled. The EMV acronym stands for Europe Mastercard Visa. It is the global standard for chip-based debit and credit Tra- card transaction. The EMV chip creates a unique transaction code for that particular transaction. Third, the cassette. This part holds the ATM cash. Cash dispenser. This part moves cash from the cassette to the cash tray. Fifth, the printer. This part prints the receipt for the customer. Power supply. This part connects the rest of the ATM to external power. The I.O. board. This part controls the communication with the processor through the internet or phone line. And last, the modem. This part executes the communication to the internet. Oh my god! So many parts! I couldn't even keep count of it. <laughs> okay, so now we will be learning about how the ATM processes transaction. The process begins when you insert your card into the ATM card reader. After inserting your card, the main board will request that you enter your PIN using the display. After you enter your PIN using the keypad, the main board requests this type of the transaction to occur using the display. After the PIN and transaction is entered, the main board sends the unique EMB transaction code, PIN and transaction to the processor through the I.O. board and modem. The processor uses this information to route the transaction to an ATM network that is associated with the card. The networks associated with the cards are usually printed on the back of the card. By federal regulation, each card is required to have two networks so that if the transaction cannot be processed with one ATM network, it can be processed with the other network. The ATM network then sends this information to the card issuer, example your bank, to determine whether the transaction is approved. This approval or denial is sent back to the ATM through the ATM network and ATM processor. Each further transaction is processed in the same manner. When a withdrawal is selected, the transaction is processed and if approved, your bank debits your account for the amount. Wow! This transaction is sent back through the ATM network and processor to the ATM. The main board then initiates the dispensing of the cash. The cash dispenser removes the bills from the cassette one by one. The dispenser is an ultra-sensitive piece of equipment that determines if each bill is of the right size and thickness to ensure that only one bill is dispensed at a time. If a bill is determined not to be correct, which can be caused by numerous factors including being stuck together, torn or worn. It is sent to the reject bin. If a bill is sent to the reject bin, another bill is selected to be dispensed until the right number of bills have has been dispensed for the transaction. After the bills have been dispensed, a receipt is printed for the transaction. And that's how ATMs work. Wow, Marie, you're so smart. I never knew ATMs had such a long process. Well, when we put up a credit card, it just takes five minutes to do all the process. But you never know what's inside an ATM. That's crazy. I couldn't even keep count of all the equipments used. And in 1969, how how could someone even think of that? I know, and I think we reached the cafe. Yes, you're right. Let's go inside the cafe because I am starving. Hi, welcome to Hot Cafe. Can I get you all something? Sure. I would like to have uh, a team. I mean, I mean, a cake. And for you, madam? Uh, well, I would like to have a burger. Okay, coming right up. It was so much fun learning about ATMs, wasn't it? I loved it, Murray. Thank you so much for teaching me about ATMs. Oh, oh, no problems. Hi, guys. I am Murray. And I am James. (sighs) 
So, we hope you enjoyed and if you did, give this video a like and subscribe to our channel so that you get more kid-friendly content and you can learn more about ATMs or any other topic. And until then, bye everybody!